she needs to proofread. This is four inches of hair. The customization fee should not be the same price as you washing my hair. A whole day to three days for a response? Bitch, you serious? If you have an appointment that runs into my break time, please be aware I am subjected to take a break during your appointment time. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, today's video, I will be breaking different hairstylists, mainly braiders, booking policy. So everybody know all these Instagram hairstylists, first of all, you gotta have like six inches of hair on your head, everywhere. Second of all, you gotta have your makeup done or they not gonna post you and they gonna give you a fee. I heard that, I was like, what? Third of all, you gotta pay a hundred dollar deposit and that's not towards your total. They really be doing a lot to not have a license. Like you asking for all this, but you don't got a license. So I'm gonna be reacting and braiding different stylist policy out of five stars. Obviously, I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out their information. I just looked at whoever policy I thought was like, I read it and if something I didn't like, I just screenshotted it. So I got all of these booking policies from their Instagrams. Like their work be looking good, but once you get to the booking policies, like first, masks is mandatory, obviously duh, it's COVID. No extra gas. That's two things all of the um hairdressers say. Always wear your mask and don't bring nobody else. This hairstylist deposit is $30. Non-refundable and is required upon booking. So this $30 doesn't go towards your total. So this $30 is holding your spot. AKA is giving her some money ahead of time before she do your hair. Remain, remaining balance is due cash or zell only on the day of your appointment. Please bring exact change. I don't always have change. Okay, that's fine. No call, no show is no new appointment. Okay, that's fine. Same day cancellation forfeits deposit. You already said the deposit is non refundable. Why would they? Okay. Second thing, hair requirements. Hair must be freshly washed and blow dried and absolutely oil free. $30 and I gotta wash my own hair and blow dry it? Okay. That's okay. If not washed and blow dry, so oh, hold up. If not washed and blow dry, will be an extra $25 to your service. So you can so you can wash and blow dry my hair, you just choose not to. If you if you really wanted to make some extra money, you could have just added an add on for um $25. Like, girl. First of all, why am I paying you $25 to wash and blow dry my hair? I do not provide hair. I only use pre-stretched expression hair, 18 inches for kids two to six years old, okay? Change of style is not permitted unless the time duration is shorter than the previous style. Okay, that makes sense. You can't change your style. If you're getting, if you're getting big knotless, you're not ready to change it to small knotless. And then she lists the amount of hair. Late policy, 10 minute grace period. After 10 minutes, a $10 late fee will be required. After 20 minutes, your, your appointment will be canceled. Don't book unless you're prepared to sit for hours, depending on the style. Like hers wasn't that bad. I love one of her styles and with the price, regular box braids, four hours for $180 without buying a hair. Hair isn't that expensive, so that's fine. Hers wasn't that bad. I'll give her like a three and a half star, three and a half. Three and a half star rating out of five. Cause it wasn't that bad, but it's like if you, you can wash and blow dry my hair, you just choose and not to. Okay. This next person. First of all, I don't like the way their booking policy look. These colors they look a mess together. Like girl, you need to do something about that. A fifty dollar non refundable deposit is due at the time of booking. Fifty dollars? That's a lot. There is no free rescheduling in 48 hours prior to your appointment. Okay, that's uh, that's understandable. If you decide last minute you would like to reschedule, you will be required to pay a new deposit. Damn. So if I decide anytime after the 48 hours, I got to pay you another $50? So you just made a 100 off of me and you ain't even touched my head yet? Damn. 
If you have growing shortcut or hair loss, please book a consultation. A lot of them need to say that you need to book a consultation, period. And it's free. So this, I'm going to give her a, a point for that because it's free. And it helps like the stylist know what they're going to be working with. Hair needs to be clean and product free, of course. If you show up with flaky scalp, greasy, dirty hair, you will be required to pay an additional $30. Blow dry is free. So the $30 is for you washing their hair or, or you're just going to do that hair while it's dirty. I'm confused. What if somebody has like... I forget the name of the little, it's like a disorder with their scalp. It's like, it's not dangerous, but their scalp flakes. What if somebody has that and they just still want their hair done? You gonna make them pay the $30? It's something they can't control. For most style, for most style, not most styles, she needs to proofread. Hair has to be four inches all around the edges. Here they go with the hair minimum. If you can't braid, just say that. Because if you really know how to braid and grip hair, it should not be, it should be enough for you to grip, for real. And that's like, at least one, some people can grip just a little bit of hair. But you need four inches to grip. Um, I got, listen y'all, I, I have my comb right here. It's dirty, but I have my comb right here for cutting hair, um up to right here this is four inches of hair this is four inches of hair right here where my finger stops this is four inches of hair so like right here above my eyeball and in the back right here right here on your neck this is four inches of hair you need this much hair to braid it oh that comb just got stuck in my braid this is four inches of hair you need you need this much hair to braid it. You just can't braid. Like, just say that. If you can braid, you can braid. Some people can braid one inch of hair. Or at least one and a half. All times are estimate, which may subject to change. Please don't book an important event next to your appointment to avoid rush. I mean, people really should not do that, period. Like, time management is key. So your hair appointment is supposed to be done within, within two hours and you book it for 12 o'clock. It should be done around two o'clock or maybe I'll give it even 30 more minutes, 2.30. You shouldn't book your um, nail appointment at 2.30. You never know. Cause then the distance and the time to get there, yeah. So this person provides the hair, which is okay. That person policy, just because it's not really that clear about whether or not they're gonna wash your hair or they just gonna work over your dirty scalp. And the fact that you gotta have a, a, a length minimum, I'm gonna give it two stars. Next, $20 non-refundable deposit is required to book. The deposit will be deducted from the total price, price of your service for this one. The remaining balance must pay, be paid in cash. No exceptions, cash only, okay? You are allowed only one reschedule during your deposit. And after that, you have to make a new appointment and leave in a new deposit. Okay, that makes sense. In the event that I, the stylist, have to cancel your appointment without a rescheduled date, your, your deposit will be refunded, as it should be. There is a 15-minute grace period. After that, a $20 late fee is, a, is required. So the same price as the, as the deposit. If you're late after 15 minutes, you gotta pay another $20, that's fine. If you exceed 30 minutes, your appointment will be canceled. That's perfectly fine. Unless a wash is already included in your service, please arrive with freshly washed hair and scalp. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Like, she's clear. Unless you included it, arrive with it already done. I will not work on oily, dirty hair, which will result in a $30 wash fee. If you would like to add a wash to your service, it's available as an add-on option. This is what the first person should have did. For late services, you must drop your hair off two to three days in advance. Same day customization will re re result in a $30 fee. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. Because I gotta, if I come with dirty hair, I gotta pay you $30 to wash my hair. So the same price of you washing my hair is the same price of 
you customizing my wig that don't really make sense I would have thought the wig customization would have been more because washing hair anybody can do that but that's what mainly people do bleach the knots and pluck the wig like $30 okay and because people some people drop it off the same day because they be scared stylists switch wigs so if you give it to them two, two to three days in advance, they might, you know, some people might mess up and give you the wrong wig or some people might purposely give you the wrong wig and keep whatever wig you got, whatever wig you paid your money for. What saves this person from me giving them less than three stars is they give you options of like hair places that they like, like lace whose laces they like so i'm gonna give them four stars for their policy it wasn't that bad but the customization fee should not be the same price as you washing my hair washing and blow dry my hair that don't even make sense one is obviously more than the other and one is obviously less than the other no refunds of any kind as after three days after three days who is still trying to get a refund what so yeah four stars and now we're on to the next the first of all, this person's background is a bright fuchsia. It's just too much on the eyes. Like, calm down. I see you want to pop, but that's too much. That's not, it's not giving. It's going to give somebody a headache. Hold up. She allows a 10 minute grace period. After the grace period, your appointment is automatically canceled. So if you're not there, if, if you're not there 10 minutes after your set time, your appointment is canceled, damn. She don't give you a second chance. 10 minutes, if you're not there within that 10 minutes, your appointment is canceled. It says, do not come in natural state. Please come washed and blown. First of all, I don't like how she said, don't come in natural state. Like, if you, like I'm saying, if you really know how to braid, you can braid any kind of hair. Especially natural hair, like in this natural state, not stretched. Cause that's the easiest that's the easiest way to braid it if you have short hair please complete a consultation before booking to be sure i'm able to style you i charge an additional fee for short hair please don't come with a fresh perm flat iron or any products whatsoever pause if you have short hair they have to go to you for a consultation and you're going to charge them an extra fee First of all, she need to be specific on what she defines as short hair. Like the other booking policy, the stylist said, your hair gotta be four inches or more. So how we, how am I supposed to know how long, how many inches is enough for you to do without you giving me an extra fee? You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to be more specific. If say, if you have less than three inches of hair, I have to charge you a short hair fee. Because I can't grip, I can't grip your hair for whatever style you get, which I'm assuming, I'm assuming all of these are braids. Because all of these provide, all of these stylists provide braids. Why are you just saying, if you have short hair, I, I will give you an extra fee. How short is short for you? Because that's subjective. Like short hair to me is, short hair to most people is something like one inch, that's short. But how I know your short hair is, is anything, anything less than four inches could be yours. And and it's not clear. So if I show up, then you're going to be like, oh, your hair is short. I got to charge you an extra additional fee. Like, no, that's not fair. So I need to make that more clear. Then second of all, if you can't, like I'm saying, it's, it depends on how short the hair is. If it's two inches and you give them a fee, just say you can't grip hair. If it's three inches, you give them a fee. Just say you can't grip hair. You can't braid because you you can't grip. Obviously, if, if it's like an inch, then some people can, some people can't. So if you can't, then you'll just be like, I can't do it. But if you really, if it's short enough where you got to charge them a fee just because their hair is short, why are you even trying to service them in the first place? But, oh, because you're money hungry. Okay, it's making sense now because you're money hungry. If you want me to come on, uh, come in on a day off, it's a $50 fee. Girl, she hasn't said anything about a deposit, though. 
but if it, i mean i guess it's your price it's your day off so i can't hold that against you but 24 hours in advance no last minute appointments accepted there's oh here's the deposit they need to she need to say that first first of all her booking web it's like a mess it's like unorganized yeah she need to redo this there is a non-refundable deposit required to book which will be deducted from your remaining fee how much is it she doesn't list how much it is how much is it what's the refundable what's the non-refundable deposit fifty dollars like how much is it you don't you didn't list it so how am i supposed to know how much i'm supposed to pay before i get to you maybe it was in with the um the styles so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that alone but she need to list it right there too because people read the booking policy before they book the appointment because you have to nowadays so i'll give her a, i'm gonna give her one star because she's it's like you need to be more specific you can't say it's a deposit and you're not telling us how much the deposit is. That does gonna be a deposit. How much is the deposit? Like, then you giving a short hair fee because you can't grip. But how short is short for you? What's the short hair for you? We're on to the next. Arrive to your appointment, freshly washed, blowed out, straight, no product. A lot of them can only braid on a straight hair. I don't like that. 50% non-refundable deposits are required plus service fee. Is it 50% of my style or is it, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's 50% of my style. That's a lot for a deposit. Cause if I'm getting small knot list, that's gonna be like three or two something. Say it's $280 for some small knot list. I'm gonna have to pay you $140. For the deposit oh hell no girl you must need that 15 dollar late fee after being 15 to 30 minutes late so any time between that you gotta pay a 15 dollar late fee 30 minutes or more your appointment may be subjected to cancellation so she's saying maybe is it is it going to be canceled or is it not because what you say maybe then they show up at 35 minutes later to their appointment you're like it's canceled and then they're gonna be like well you said on your site it may be i guess it depends on if they really need the money squeezing fee is 25 dollars okay cash only oh this is the part that got me and she highlighted it so everybody know <laughs> this is what really got me i am subjected to take a 1 15 to 30 minute break between the hours of 3 to 5 p.m every day if you have an appointment that runs into if you have an appointment that runs into my break time, please be aware I am subjected to take a break during your appointment time. So from 3 to 5 p.m., you're going to take a 15 to 30 minute break anytime between 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So if my appointment is at 4 p.m., you're going to take a break in the middle of doing my hair for 15 to 30 minutes. That's between 15 to 30 minutes. 15 minimum, 30 minutes supposed to be the maximum. What? So what I'm supposed to just sit there and wait for you? It's like, obviously, if you need a break, take a break. But don't put that, don't try to make it seem like, the way she worded it is like, don't try to make it seem like it's the it's on the customer because that's the time that you're taking your break. But it's like, if you're taking a break, you need to set up a specific time for that. Don't try to say between this hour and that hour, I'm going to take a break. And I'm not going to tell you when. you just going to have to wait till I take my break. Cause how I know if I'm out from at four, how I know you ain't take your break yet and you take your break from three to five. How I know you ain't go at 3.30. I'm, I'm guessing this person be overbooking themselves where they need to take a break while they have a client in their chair waiting to get a service provided. Cause it's like, why else would you do this? You need to have your own set time for a break. I know you want to ch chase the bag, but it's like, especially what if they got somewhere to go? And she all like, from 3 to 5 p.m. How I, and then like, am I supposed to ask you, did you take your break yet before you start doing my hair? It's your responsibility to take a break. You know you're gonna need a break. Why don't you set a specific time for you to take a break, like 4 to 4.30, and then whatever appointment come in after 4.30, that's when you can start doing the hair. Or are you just gonna 
do that like i really don't like that because what if you took a break with a person that came in at three o'clock whose appointment ended at four then i come in at 4 30 and you start doing my hair and then you take a 15 minute break like what you gonna take two right like i'm confused about that and like the way she worded it if you have an appointment that runs to my break time first of all my appointment won't be running into your break time you had the availability open and you should never did that if you're gonna take your break at that time don't have it available for somebody to break to book an appointment but like i'm saying i keep saying they be money hungry yeah you just overbooked and money hungry so that's like that's really it hair will be provided okay it better be you taking a 15 to 30 minute break the fuck you your appointment is running into my break ma'am you're a grown woman you can schedule your own break especially i would rather have a break without a client sitting in my chair than a break with a client sitting in my chair i'm thinking damn i gotta go back over there and start doing that hair again no that's not even a break she want like what do you think this is that person gets one star just for that because what you sound dumb next this person said please do not double text allow 24 to 72 hours for a response first of all that right there is a red flag to me what why did they need to wait that long for a response a whole day to three days for a response are you crazy i don't know what they could be asking but some of you just want to clarify like when i booked the appointment for my butterfly locks, i texted her and i clarified like did do i need to bring the hair and she said no it's um she providing it so i was like okay but like what if they ask you that what if they have a question that's not in your booking policy because they be so quick to, to post on their instagram story reread my booking policy don't dm me questions reread my booking policy girl it's not on there obviously your confirmation email will provide the address, suite number, and appointment detail. You must come washed and detangled. No knots. Okay, she doesn't say blow dry. Your hair can be detangled and still in its natural state. If your hair is not clean at least one day before appointment, I will not service you. But how would you know? That's my thing. <laughs> I know that sounds like you bad, but like, how would you know? Well, somebody have a really dry scalp. How would you know whether or not the hair has been cleaned two days ago before that appointment? I don't think they would really know. Please come with zero product in your hair other than a mild leave-in conditioner. I'm not adding no leave-in conditioner. You just said zero other than that. No, I'm not coming in with nothing in there. But then you want to say it's dirty. No. Leave-in conditioner. Conditioner has properties that will weigh the hair down. And it might interfere with the product. Like what? She said oil hair will interfere with the product I use and will not leave hair properly. How you know the leave-in conditioner is not going to do that? Especially if you're not going to provide a specific brand. Like, no. I will moisturize your hair with organic oils during your service so your hair will not be dry. Failure to follow this rule will affect ending results. If you have any of the following... Her, her, her book and policy already this is three screenshots i'm on a third screenshot already this shit is long as fuck please send a, a picture if you have any of the following do not come without telling her you have any of the following <laughs> okay short hair like i'm saying how short is short that's my question how short is short your short may be different from somebody else's short any hair breakage examples alopecia thin edges etc so if they have thin edges, then what? If they have alopecia, then what? You, I wonder, are, like, are you still going to serve them or are you going to tell them you can't? Custom hair colors, permed hair. Okay. Okay, I, I'll tell you about the perm. I know, okay, maybe about the colors. I don't know. It depends on if they get in color braids or if they don't. Like, it really depends. Mandatory $100 non-refundable deposit deducted from your total okay it better be a hundred dollars four dollars service fee is deducted by the booking site and it's not refundable okay, so 104 dollars off the gate 
is on deposits only refundable if they have an emergency and cannot make the appointment. It says they will deduct twenty dollars off your service if I cause you any inconvenience regarding rescheduling your appointment. If you are not able to make your appointment, you have one free reschedule. If you happen to have a reschedule again after you've already already rescheduled, the deposit will no longer be valid. So you need another hundred dollars for me. A hundred four. Mm, that's a lot of money. I know people who book with her, they make sure they get that appointment. A hundred dollars? And you ain't even touch my head yet? Please book at least three days in advance if you're booking for vacation, birthday, event, going away to school, work, etc. Failure to follow this rule will result in getting only a partial refund if I'm unable to find your new date in a timely manner to reschedule to you. How much is a partial refund? Like, they need to be more specific. A partial refund could be, it, it don't even have to be half. It could be less than half. It could be like even 10% of whatever you paid. Weather conditions are automatic reschedule. I am not responsible for weather. I will not take appointments on those days, tornado warnings, severe thunderstorms, snow winter storms. Deposits are non-refundable under any circumstances. So if so if it's snowing, you just gonna reschedule my appointment. You get one re free, you get one free reschedule to any date that works best for you. I care about your safety and mind. Hope you understand. Okay, so the, at least if if it's not on a sign, you get to pick the date. Oh, all right, good. But if you was like, no, nah, I just want to cancel my appointment, you're not getting that $100 back. Okay. Squeeze-ins. Appointments after 6 p.m. is $40 extra. To book a squeeze-in, you got to text their business phone. Squeeze-in fee is due with your deposit. So that's $140 plus the service fee, $144. Okay. I mean, if you really need to be squeezed in, you'll pay it. Late fee, five minute grace period. After fi the five minute grace period, it'll be $10 added to your service. That's not that bad. After 15 minutes, your appointment will be canceled. No exceptions. Hmm. Okay. No call, no show. You will be charged 100% of the service. She, obviously, she take card. So, obviously, if you're paying in cash for your service, you can't be charged 100% of the service if you don't call no show. So, they're just going to block you from booking with them. You not really charged me for something you didn't do. It's like, but you didn't even call out. And you didn't even tell me what was going on. I would give her, like, two stars. Maybe from being a nice two and a half stars. Just because it's so much to fucking read before I even get to your, your styles. Like, girl... Mind you, I, I I took a screenshot of, of her um one of her styles she do. She does like I think she does like locks. It looks good, but is it a hundred dollar deposit looking good? Like how long will it last? I paid you a hundred dollar deposit before I even let you touch my head. Obviously, people will pay that, so that's good for her. Is this the last one? Payment will be accepted at the time of scheduled appointment. Cash, cash at Oza. Booking appointment, a non-refundable booking fee is is to lock in your appointment time. $25 sent by PayPal. Hold up. So if my payment has to be cash, cash at Oza, why is my why is my um deposit being sent through PayPal? Girl, don't at least have PayPal up there. Touch ups, hair needs to be washed thoroughly and all glue must be cleaned off lace in order to be ready for your appointment. Okay. I'll give her four stars. It's really short, straight to the point. But I do see people would be having questions about stuff. I, but I think she only does laces because she didn't mention anything about braids. She was the last person. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it was long. Comment down below. Subscribe down below. Um, I might do a part two doing nail. Um nail text booking policies i don't think theirs are, are as wild as hairstylists and braiders but i can if you guys want me to thank you guys so much for watching bye